Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. Right, let's take a look at every Premier League club, look at their current top goal scorer for this season, and see where they were 10 years ago. Arsenal, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Okay, listen, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is a relative old man at 30 years of age. Compared to some of the youthful whippersnappers on this list, this fella is a goddamn pensioner. The fella probably spends his Sunday evenings trimming his nose hair while watching reruns of the Antiques Roadshow. So thankfully, I don't have to dig back into this guy's teens to find out what he was doing in early 2010. The man had just recently traded AC Milan reserves for San Etienne at the age of 20. I'm gonna finish the season with two goals. Just two goddamn goals. Future 60 million pound player, really? Aston Villa, Jack Grealish. What was Jack Grealish doing 10 years ago? Well, being called up to play for Ireland under 15s for a start. But don't worry lads, this isn't one of those videos, all right? 10 years ago, Grealish was a 14 year old teen stuffed in the Aston Villa youth setup. Just two years after being called up for his first ever Premier League squad. A 4 2 home defeat to Chelsea in March 2012, for anyone that cares. Born with Callum Wilson. Yeah, Callum Wilson is Bournemouth's top scorer with just seven goals a season. Let's see, what was this fella up to back in early 2010? Having just turned 18, Wilson became the first. Coventry City youth teamer to win the national award for apprentice of the month exactly 10 years ago this week he just signed his first ever professional deal and had one first team game under his belt a league cup appearance against Hartlepool United considering by then only one footballer had ever cost upwards of 70 million pounds and that was Cristiano Ronaldo can you imagine telling a teenage Callum Wilson that he'd one day be linked with moves for that sort of fee he'd have snorted milk out his nose Brighton Neil Maupay yeah but despite going eight games without a goal this season Neil Maupay is still Brighton's top scorer with seven what does that tell you about the state of their attack? 10 years ago, Mopay was not only stuck in the Nice Academy, just two years of his first team debut, but was also getting called up for France under 16s, a squad which also included Adrian Rabiot, Alan Saint Maximin, and Anthony Martial. Oh, yeah, and a bunch of overrated rubbish who didn't make it, and now probably worked on the local car phone warehouse. Burnley Chris Wood. Yeah, predictably, Chris Wood is Burnley's top goal scorer with 10 strikes this season. Go back a decade, and he was an 18 year old, 6 foot 3 inch striker trying to make his way at West Brom. Fair play to the man for moving halfway across the planet to try and cut it in English football. At just 18, I commend the man. Chelsea, Tammy Abraham. I don't think anyone expected Tammy Abram to have 15 goals for Chelsea by mid-March, so fair play to the lad for finally realising a dream that looked dead in the water. Go back 10 years ago and Abram was a 12-year-old fan, no doubt cheering on the double-winning Chelsea team from the stands at Stamford Bridge. The kid had been part of the Blues setup since the age of 7. Did he really think he would one day emulate the likes of Didier Drogba? Then again, this man was talking about Ballon d'Or trophies when facing relegation with Swansea, so maybe he did. Crystal Palace, Jordan Ayew. Yeah, Jordan Ayew is Crystal Palace's top goal scorer with 7 goals a season. 27 million pound man Christian Benteke, hang your head in shame. 10 years ago, Ayu was in his second season at Marseille, alongside his brother and bagged two goals in 29 games. No, it's not great, but to be fair, he was just 18 years of age and was no doubt weighed down by the weight of expectation. For God's sake, his dad was a Champions League winner for the same club, but winning the league in his first full season wasn't a bad way to begin his career, now was it? Everton, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Fair play to Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I really did not expect him to have 15 goals by this stage of the season. I honestly would have assumed Carlo Ancelotti would have taken one look at his first touch and laughed, but no. Unlike the likes of Dominic Solanke, Calvert-Lewin is a former England underage star who actually looks like he's going to cut it in the Premier League. Ten years ago, the kid was 12 years old and stuffed in the Sheffield United youth setup. Leicester, Jamie Vardy. Despite the goal-scoring drought, make no mistake about it, the man is having a good season. Ten years ago, Vardy wasn't even that young. 23 years old and earning £30 a week at Stocksbridge Park Steels. The lad had just failed a trial at Crew Alexandra the previous year. He was also refusing short-term deals with Rotherham United. He probably resigned himself to spending the peak years of his career scudding tins of vodka skittles and terrorising hungover plumbers on Sunday mornings. Telling me go on to win the league, score in the Champions League and in tournaments for England, all the while living in a mansion with a wife who allegedly spies on Rooney's wife, he'd probably laugh in your face. Liverpool Mo Salah. Yeah, Mr. 19 goals a season, Mo Salah on course to win the league, one of the greatest footballers on planet Earth. 10 years ago, he was a 17 year old nobody, playing youth football for El Makwalm out the back arse of Cairo. He'd be making his Egyptian Premier League debut in May of that year in a one all draw away to El Mansoura. At the time, Liverpool fans were probably terrified about how they were ever going to replace Fernando Torres once he inevitably left. I guarantee you there was not a red alive who saw his eventual successor sitting on the bench in Egypt. Man City, Sergio Aguero. Okay, 10 years ago, Sergio Aguero was finishing up the eighth professional season of his career. I'm not even joking. Yeah, he's only 21, but this lad had been making his debut for Independiente at 15 years of age. To be fair, if you're making your debut at that age, you must be pretty special, or John Boston. Anyway, by March 2010, Aguero was already one of the best players at Atletico Madrid. On his way to 19 goals for the season and provided both assists in a 2-1 Europa League final win over Fulham. How was he not snapped up sooner? Every single big club who watched that season and willingly spent the summer of 2010 sitting on their hands, refusing to make a move, 
They've only themselves to blame. Chelsea more than anyone. For Christ's sake, he just scored twice against you. How much more proof did you need? Man United Marcus Rashford. By far the best season of his career. Ten years ago he was 12 years old in the Manchester United Youth Academy. No doubt practicing Cristiano Ronaldo's knuckleball free kicks in his back garden on a daily basis. This is a lad too young to remember the 2006 World Cup. Good lord. Newcastle Miguel Almiron. Oh wow. Miguel Almiron can nearly go a year without scoring, failing to break his duck until halfway through this season. And he still finds himself top scorer for Newcastle with just six paltry goals. Joe Linton, you should be ashamed. Ten years ago, the Paraguayan was 16, on the books of local club Cerro Porteño, but he lived in a family plagued by poverty, where his father worked 18-hour shifts as a security guard, while the seven members of his house slept in three bedrooms. Almiron had to share a bed with his mother until he was 18. I'm sorry, but sharing a mattress with your own mom throughout the perils of puberty, I'm guessing they haven't looked each other in the eye since. Narge Timu Puki. Timu Puki has 11 goals for Narge this year. Fair play, I did not think he'd hit double digits. Ten years ago, the Finnish centre forward was 19 years of age and was forced to return to Scandinavia via HJKL Sinki after a failed two years in Sevilla's reserves. But hey, at least he gave it a go in Spain. Sheffield United John Fleck. Yeah, John Fleck somehow manages to find himself a Sheffield United's joint top goal scorer. How could a club be challenging for Europe, despite nobody scoring more than five throughout the season? Ten years ago, Fleck was 18 and making waves as a Rangers wonder kid. For God's sake, he'd made his debut at 15. Southampton Danny Inks. No contest for top scorer at Southampton. Danny Inks has done what he's paid to do. 18 goals by mid-March for a club who lost 9-0 at home is phenomenal. Let's see, 10 years ago he was 17 but still getting games for Bournemouth in League 1. Not only that, 8 goals in 28 games. Not bad. Tottenham Harry Kane. 10 years ago Harry Kane was a lanky 16 year old struggling to make the grade at Tottenham. Well, that's what you were expecting me to say, right? Well no, I'm not going to blame the lad for failing to get into a team challenging for the top 4. In 2010, the man was ripping up youth football, scoring 18 goals in 22 games for Tottenham's under 18s. He also played twice for the first team during that season, in cup games against Everton and Bolton. The mantra that this fella spent his formative years as a horrific excuse of a footballer before finally waking up at age 22, it's a myth. He was prolific at underage level. Watford Troy Deeney. Troy Deeney 10 years ago, Christ, well he wasn't on the right track of becoming a Premier League footballer, that's for sure. He was 21, had just scored 14 goals for Walsall in League One, winning player of the year before almost going on strike to force to remove to Watford, and within two years, prison. West Ham Sebastian Haller. I don't care that Sebastian Haller is West Ham's top goal scorer. Seven goals is a terrible return of 40 million quid. A decade ago, this guy was 15 years of age, yet to sign a first professional deal with Auxerre, but again, like Neil Mopé, was in the France under 16 squad. Wolves Raul Jimenez. 22 goals already this season. Raul Jimenez is surely going to get that big blockbuster move to a European giant. He turns 29 in May, so a bit like Dimitar Berbatov in 2008, it's now or never. Anyway, 10 years ago he was 18, stuffed in the youth team at Mexican side Club America. He wouldn't make his first team debut until 2011. Anyway, that's the end of it, lads. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to go like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll talk to you in a while.